These gloves are made of high quality lambskin. The tanneries process the hides to make the leather smooth, supple, and very durable. The gloves are then handcrafted in France. Making a fine pair of leather gloves starts with a master glove cutter. Cutting expertise is just as important as the quality of leather they use. First, he adds water to make the leather supple. Then, he stretches the skin in a single direction. This prevents the glove from stretching and losing its shape after it's made. He uses a rectangular template to make indentations in the leather, then cuts them with shears. He produces two rectangles, one for each glove in the pair. He stretches the leather again. A master glove cutter knows how to optimize the natural stretch in the skin. He deliberately leaves room in certain areas for comfort and eliminates stretch in other areas to preserve the glove's fit. Using the template again, he marks and makes his final cuts. The rectangle is for the section of the glove that covers the hand called the trank. marks the glove size with the white pencil. He follows the same procedure to cut pieces of leather for the other parts of the glove. They include the thumb, the pieces that go in between the fingers, called the fourchettes, and the decorative trim. He uses a die to cut each part. There's a separate die for each part of every glove model. There's also a different die for each size. The cutter places a few pieces into a trank die. Then he covers the leather with a resin block to prevent damage from the press. The press quickly cuts the pieces. Then all the cut pieces are sent to the sewing department. The head seamstress makes a paper pattern. This model has three rows of stitching and three circular openings on the back of the hand. She places the pattern on the leather, then uses talc to transfer the design. She uses specialized tools to punch out the openings and perforate the stitch holes. Then, another seamstress sews the glove together. She starts with the three rows of decorative stitching. They form three raised lines and stretch the round openings into ovals. The rest of the glove is machine sewn. The seamstress turns the trank inside out and stitches the four shets to the fingers. Then she sews on the thumb and the trim on the cuff. She finishes off the cuff with an engraved rivet. Another seamstress attaches a silk jersey lining to the inside of the glove. There are also linings made of cashmere, wool, fur, and polar fleece. She hand stitches the lining to the leather at each fingertip. She turns the glove right side out using a wooden tool to gently push out the fingers. A final seamstress slips the gloves onto heated hand forms. She rubs the leather with a downward motion to manually iron out all the wrinkles. The packager wears a pair of cotton gloves to ensure the leather remains pristine.